Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alejandra and I am a certified surgical first assistant. On my YouTube channel, I like to share videos and talk about what I do for my profession as a surgical first assistant. So today's video is going to be very interesting. I have gotten a lot of requests to talk about it and that's about pay. How much I get paid and how I get paid as a traveler, I should say that, how much you can make and how much I make as a traveling certified surgical first assistant. As you can see from my shirt, I am actually in the DC area. I um, am actually living in Maryland for my fifth travel assignment. I just started a couple weeks ago. So far, so good, more to come on that. But for now, let's talk about pay. So, you get paid more as a traveler than you do working as a staffed full-time employee at a regular hospital. So, in this video, I'm going to share my current contract agreement and my last travel contract agreement. So, like, my last assignment was, like, was from September to December so I'm gonna share that and I'm gonna also share with you how much I will be making um, during this assignment okay so I will be showing you my pay stubs and of course I'll have all of the important information blocked out I have my notes ready and my iPad so let's get to it okay one thing that I would like to share with you before I get too far is that some contracts pay more than others. It depends on your years of experience, the specialty, and how much the agency or hospital will want to pay their travelers. For example, if you have experience doing cardiac or vascular or even neurosurgery, you, chances are that you will get paid highly well. Um, not there are some bad i wouldn't say bad but there are some low paying contracts out there for surgical first assistants and the more you do them the more experience you get um the easier it will be to understand what's high for you and what's low for you and for this video i want to share with you what i personally think it's a good travel assignment some may not agree and that's totally fine but what i've been doing it's working out well um which with each contract i am learning more um on how to read the travel agreements you know what's the on-call rate and what's the callback rate um you know when do i start getting paid for overtime and stuff like that it just gets easier the more you do it so here is a picture of my last travel assignment that I did from September to December 2022. So on the left, you see contract summary, my specialty, the start and end dates, and the um, facility where I was working. On the right, you're going to see compensation summary. You see the hourly rate of $58, overtime rate $88, on call rate six dollars call back rate 88 housing allowance so how much um money i'll be receiving each week with my paycheck and then the travel allowance five hundred dollars paid in full on the first check so travel allowance five hundred dollars that's typical of what i've been getting however this travel agency decided to give me my full five hundred dollars um, all at once. That's how much the agency is paying you for mileage. So I drove from Minnesota to Illinois, so they gave me $500. Um, other agencies give you half of the $500, so $250 in the beginning of your assignment and then $250 at the, um, at, with your last paycheck. Here is one of my pay stubs from my last assignment through Alliance Medical Staffing. I don't believe I mentioned them in this video so far. So as you can see here, you see my hourly rate, $58, how many hours I worked, 
um, excess units, $88. It looks like I did get called back for an, um, an hour. So I got $88 just for that one hour. And you see my, it looks like I was also on call. And towards the bottom right here, you see how much I made that week. That amount right there, $3,000 was pretty typical for me which is why i wanted to sign on back with them my current assignment i am through medical medical solutions with my last assignment that was the highest paying contract i have ever gotten um i did want to resign i did want to extend but i was told i would have to scrub and I only first assist. I don't have my surgical tech certification. I did not feel comfortable doing that. So unfortunately, you know, I had to move on. Moving on to my fifth travel assignment, the one that I'm currently on, something told me not to take it because based on what I was making previously, I know I can make much more. Um, my recruiter or even myself, I must have added some numbers wrong thinking I was going to get paid a certain amount. I got my first paycheck. I wasn't happy. However, I did not receive my 40 my 40 guaranteed hours for that week because I worked Tuesday through Friday instead of my 5 days. So I think the paycheck that I will be receiving this Friday will be much higher than that. And also, I didn't take call. I didn't have overtime, so maybe that's why. Okay, so on to my current um, travel travelers agreement on how much I get paid and all that good stuff. I have a screenshot of my travelers agreement, my regular hourly rate, 20 to 25 per hour, overtime, 55, holiday pay, 55 per hour if I work a holiday, my on-call rate, five dollars and ten cents callback rate fifty five dollars an hour here is my pay stub on um, and then where you see everything that's broken down sorry i got a little flustered there so on my first paycheck okay you see my hourly rate at 22.25 I worked 38 hours, 38.5 hours. My first paycheck, my hourly wages, my hourly wage was included along with how much the total was. So with 22, 22 point, so 22.25 times my 38.50, that came out to 856.62. So that's how much I, I made. However, with my housing allowance that they give me every week, $909.68 was included. Meals and incidentals, that's $382.26. My mileage you see right here is $250. So this agency paid me $250 on my first paycheck and then with my last paycheck, when my contract ends, I will receive the other $250 with a total of $500. Unlike my last um, traveler's agreement, you saw that they paid me a total of $500. Um, yeah, and there's that. This pay stub is different from the other pay stub that I received because the other pay stub, I qualified as an independent contractor with that specific agency so when tax season approaches that would be different um so i saved all my receipts i um, took a picture of how much um miles my car had in the beginning and at the end and then i will file a 1099 um for that specific for this specific job versus this assignment it's um it's w2 so I'm not really good with taxes, but basically it's like what you will file if you worked like a regular job, basically. My housing and my housing allowance and my food, um, my stipends basically are still tax-free from this assignment and my last assignment. I really want to keep it transparent because when I first started traveling, I wanted to ask travelers how much they made, but I didn't know 
how they would take it like i didn't want to be nosy i didn't want them to get offended but honestly i was like how much do you make so like you know i can start doing it myself if this was something i wanted to do so um i hope you found this helpful i know a lot of you have been wanting to know how much travelers make and here it is like i said some contracts do pay higher than most and you know you just have to look um sometimes you just have to sign on with multiple travel agencies like me um and it does depend on your experience and what specialties that you feel really competent in because um different specialties will pay you more than the average so like unfortunately i don't have any neuro experience or any cardiac experience um i do ortho general gyn plastics ob i want to be extending or re-signing back on this contract i don't like the area for the most part and the pay i know i can do better like if that agency was willing to pay me that much um to do the special the specialties that i enjoyed that i was good at then i know another one will um like i said i think i miscalculated the numbers or my recruiter might have um and like I could have added the numbers up myself on my travel assignment. However, this contract, it had like the total amount I was going to be making for the whole month. And then I had to divide it by how many weeks there were in a month. And it was like really confusing. And I think I made my recruiter do that. So, you know, I should have paid more, uh, more close attention. Um, personally, as a certified surgical assistant, I think anything over $2,000 a week is okay. You, you can make more, even surgical techs and other allied health professionals, they can make more than that. Like I said, it just depends even like on the need of the facility, if they are like in crisis mode and on how many years that you have an experience. As you can see from the my recent pay stub, you see that housing, meals, and incidentals, they pay a major role in your weekly paycheck. I hope you found this video very informative. Um, you know, I'm very transparent, not keeping anything away from you because unfortunately, a lot of um, travel companies, they do not like to post how much um, that contract, that facility, is going for and it's annoying some will make you want to talk to a recruiter or make an account and do all this stuff and it's like just let me know how much it is so i can move on um move on to the next one or if it is if it, if it is a number that i'm interested in you know i would like to like move forward let me know what you thought of today's video if it was informative if you want to see more like this i like to keep it very transparent if you're a traveler yourself you know i want to hear about your experience what 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 you think are a good range of numbers like am i accepting really low paying contracts when i know there's higher paying ones um i am signed on with i let's say i want to say like five or seven travel agencies just because as a certified surgical assistant not every state um recognizes this profession not every facility uses surgical assistance so that's why i like to keep my options open that was it for today's video um it was i think it was um short quick to the point this is how i make um it is good money you obviously make more than you make working as a staff employee where you get paid bi-weekly um i got paid i got into traveling to get paid weekly if i'm being honest because that is such a good feeling um, and you do get paid more for doing the same job that you would do at your current hospital job so if you're thinking about traveling do it if you just started your profession if you're a new nurse a new tech a new anything i recommend getting one year of experience maybe two like depending on how much you can tolerate you know that hospital and you know just get your experience and just move on travel if if it's possible for you because i know not everyone can travel but if you're young if nothing is really holding you back go out and do it if you have pets there's um places you can stay on that are pet friendly you know you don't have to really travel by myself um i don't have any pets um, but i am engaged so like my fiance comes with, visits me whenever it's convenient for him because he's a semi -truck, truck driver Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment. Um, I 
try to respond to everyone's comments but like it gets very overwhelming because there are a lot of notifications that pop up so i try to get to everyone's comments um i will link my instagram and tiktok where i am more active um so feel free to find me on there and message me any questions that you can because like i do want to help you just like how i wanted someone to be very honest and transparent on how much they make and how much they're ex you know how their experience was so like i want to be that person for you guys and you know what other place to do this and share it on youtube where anyone can see so yeah comment share and subscribe and i will see you again for the next video